Hello everyone. In this lecture, in this tutorial video, we will talk about similar matrices. So let us take an example. So we start with some linear transformation T of x, y, z is uh, x, x plus y and x plus z. So this is a linear transformation from R3 to R3. And now we consider uh, ordered basis. So this is B, beta 1. This is the standard ordered basis we are considering. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So this is the standard ordered basis. And let us consider another ordered basis, beta 2. And let us take beta 2 as this. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0. So if we write the matrix representation with respect to both the uh, ordered basis, so T with respect to beta 1, I mean for the domain and codomain in both places, if we consider the basis to be beta 1, then this will give us the matrix. So let us write it T of 1, 0, 0, that is nothing but 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. T of 0, 1, 0, that is the matrix. So, 0, 1, 0 and T of 0, 0, 1 this will give us 0, 0, 1. So, the matrix we got here. So, this matrix is nothing but uh, first column will be 1, 1, 1 second column will be 0, 1, 0 and the third column will be 0, 0, 1. So this is the uh, matrix representation with respect to standard order basis. Now similarly if we calculate T of these vectors in beta 2 and we, write, we then get T of 1, 0, 1 is nothing but 1, 1, 2. T of 0, 1, 1 is nothing but 0, 1, 1 and t of 1 1 0 is 1 2 1 now 1 1 2 we can express in terms in a linear combination of vectors in beta 2 so we will get uh, 1 into 1 0 1 plus 1 into 0 1 1 plus 0 into 1 1 0 and similarly we can express the other two also so the matrix we get is t beta 2 is given by 1 1 0 0 1 0 and uh, 0 1 1 so i want all of you to check this representation you can express all the images these vectors and these vectors as a linear combination of vectors in beta 2 and then write the matrix representation so we get t beta 1 and t beta 2 those are the matrix representation with respect to beta 1 and beta 2 respectively now uh, these two matrix are similar but uh, for similar matrix we know that uh, there should exist some so let us denote this matrix as a for removing the complication of notation and this matrix as B so for as A and B are similar matrix so there should exist some P such that P B P inverse is A or even you can write A is A is nothing but P inverse sorry B is nothing but P inverse A P so either of this uh, basically i just change the size uh, sides of p so we want to find this p what will be this p so what we got till now till now we got that uh, if we consider beta 1 for both domain and codomain we get the matrix a as the representation of linear transformation similarly for beta 2 we got the matrix b so now if we if we 
represent this beta 2 in terms of beta 1 then we get the the change of uh, basis matrix that will give us the matrix p so what we have to do we have to do we have to express the vectors of beta 2 in terms of uh, vectors of beta 1 so here beta 2 is nothing but 1 0 beta 2 is nothing but 1 0 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 0 now we have to express this in terms of beta 1 beta 1 is our standard order basis so this is 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so this is the standard order basis so we have to express we have to express beta 2 in terms of beta 1 so this is the matrix which we get in this process will is called as change of basis matrix so let us try to write 1 0 1 in terms of standard order basis so it is nothing but 1 into the first one 1 0 0 0 into the second one 0 1 0 and 1 into the third one 0 0 1 so similarly for the other two vectors we can uh, write this expression so this is nothing but the matrix which we get by taking the vectors of beta 2 as the columns of this matrix so the matrix we get is the column of this uh, we replace the columns uh, in with the uh, vectors in beta 2 so this is the matrix we get this is the change of, change of basis matrix and we denote it by p now if we calculate p of b we will get 1 0 1 1 1 2 and 2 1 1 so this is our p of b and if we calculate a into p so this is the matrix p into b uh, and a into p will give us the same matrix 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 1 1 i want you to check verify these two uh, these two matrices pb and ap so what we get here we get pb is equal to ap so b equal to p inverse ap so we can uh, verify that this a and b are really a similar matrix where p is uh, p is constructed by expressing beta 2 in terms of beta 1 now in the same example we have uh, we have not changed the linear transformation and we have also taken the beta 2 the basis as 101011 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 110 as earlier so this beta b matrix we have calculated earlier similarly if we take the another basis beta 3 as 1 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 you can calculate the matrix representation you can verify it that it will be c now in this case we have also got two matrices uh, b, b and c by just changing the basis so uh, this b and c will be similar and we want to find we want to find some matrix q such that uh, q c q inverse will be b that means c will be q inverse b q we want to find this q now how we can find this q we have to express beta 3 the vectors in beta 3 in terms of the vectors in beta 2 we have to find this matrix and that will be our q so let us try to write the first vector 1 0 0 in terms of the vectors of beta 2 so that is nothing but a into this plus b into 0 1 1 and c into 1 1 0 so what we get here we get a plus c and uh, this b plus c and a plus b so our a plus b will be 1 b plus c will be 0 and a plus 
sorry the first one is a plus c a plus c will be what and the last one is a plus b that is zero so we got uh, we get three equations and if we solve it we will get a to be half b to be minus half and c to be half so similarly we can express the other two vectors uh, which are 1 1 0 and uh, 1 1 1 in terms of uh, vectors in beta 2 and if we write all these things in the columns as the, co the coefficients as the columns of a matrix then we get the, uh, the matrix q and I want all of you to verify that this is nothing but half minus half half which we have already checked and the next one will be 0 0 1 and the last one will be half half and half so this is our matrix q now if you calculate bq you will get half 0 half half 1 3 by 2 and half 1 half so this is the matrix bq and which will be same as qc so if you take product of q and c and b and q you will get the same matrix so we will get c equal to q inverse bq where q is nothing but the uh, change of basis matrix so how we can get q we just express all the vectors in beta 3 in terms of the vectors in beta 2 and write this coefficient this a b and c for each case so write a b and c as the column of the matrix of q so that's how we can calculate q and that's how we get uh, we can verify that two matrices are similar matrix or not so whenever there is a change of basis and we get two representation uh, of the linear transformation with respect to that basis then those, those two matrices are uh, similar matrices thank you